Tesla YouTube, the Shiva Safkara with another Tesla video. If you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. If you're a new subscriber, welcome. Today, we have a special guest, my lovely wife, Maria. Hey YouTube, I'm Maria. In today's video, we're gonna talk to you about our true cost of owning our 2018 Tesla Model 3 after 20,000 miles and after owning it for 18 months. And we're gonna tell you everything, insurance, title, how much it costs to maintain it, uh, the charging cost, our finance cost for our loan, the initial purchase, the FSD price, all the credit that we received, and just let you know about all of the costs that have been occurred in the last 18 months and driving 20,000 miles. So let's get right into it. Please don't forget to hit the like button. Okay, so let's start by talking about the initial purchase price. The initial purchase was very seamless. I just went online, selected what car I wanted. It was in October that I did that. And then in December of 2018, I got an email saying my car was ready for pickup. So the initial purchase price came out to be around $54,700. That does not include taxes. That in does include the paint. So I made the custom paint, so red multi-coat paint, that was $2,500. I paid $1,125 in destination fees and $75 in documentation fees. Those are mandatory fees from Tesla. And then I also paid $5,000 for the enhanced autopilot uh, with the initial purchase. And then in January of 2019, I purchased the FSD when it was $2,000, uh, but then there was also tax on that, so it was $2,135. And then the sales tax was $2,188 in the state of Colorado. City and county of, uh, city of Centennial and county, Arapahoe County, the, the taxes were $1,504, and then I ended up paying $980 for the registration cost. So bringing the total initial purchase price of $61,507, which is a lot of money. But we will tell you later in the video how we did not pay that full price because we received credits. So stay tuned for that. Now I'm gonna talk about our registration, insurance, and loan costs. So for our, we recently did our first registration renewal, which cost us $679. But this did include our $50 fee that we paid to personalize our plates and also a $50 EV charge that they charge in Colorado since we're not doing the gas tax. Also, for insurance, we pay $2,248, which comes to about $152 a month for an 18-month period. And we were actually very surprised because before our Tesla, we had a 2016 Nissan Altima and even though the Tesla is about $30,000 cost difference from our Nissan Altima, the insurance cost was only about $50 increase. So we were very surprised, very happy. And finally, for the interest that we have paid on our loan, so far has been $1,117. So our total registration insurance and loan costs have been $4,555 for these past 18 months. So let's talk about charging cost. Your charging situation might be a slightly different than mine because I do get free charging at work. So we have a station like this where we just use a phone's app and then it lets us charge for free until our car is full. So which is really nice and I have taken full advantage of that. So about 15,000 miles on my car has been used by work free charging and that's another tip for you guys if you have if you download charge point app you can see you know charge point or other EV apps you can see where you have free charging station for example in the state of Colorado and city of Aurora we have a lot of free charging stations everywhere on major rec centers city owned pools and things like that it is all free you can just come in plug your car and then use city facility as you wish so check that out but that is 15,000 miles, so I didn't have to pay anything for 15,000 miles. We did have uh, six months of free supercharging when we bought our car, and we utilized about 1,000 miles for that supercharging in our road trip, so that was free. And then we have used another $1,000, 1,000 miles for 
uh, supercharging, pay-per-use supercharging, which came out to be $76. I totaled all the invoices, calculated the kilowatt hour, and figured that it was $76 for all about 1,000 miles of pay-per-use supercharging. And then finally, home charging. Due to pandemic, I have been home, I've been working from home, so we had to do home charging. And in the past couple of months, we have used about 3,000 miles and our electricity bill has gone up by $57, which is really cheap because, you know, comparable to 3,000 miles on a uh, gas power car, we would be spending a lot more money on gas. Uh, we are fortunate that electric city rate where we live are really affordable it is about eight cents uh, per kilowatt hour during non-peak hours which is when we charge at middle of the night so that is really nice as part of the charging station i did install a 240 volt charging station myself uh, because i know electricity i know how to use all of that but if you do not feel comfortable doing that uh, please find an electrician to do that job. For permitting and inspection, I paid about $80 for that, uh, just to make sure that I'm doing it right by code and everything. So total charging charge cost came out to be around $213 for the 20,000 miles 18 months later, uh, which is amazing compared to any gas cars. So um, yeah, it has been really nice. So let's talk about maintenance cost. You might be wondering, so how much does it cost to maintain it? So there is no oil change, there is no oil filter change. Uh, there is no moving parts really in a Tesla, so it is just motors. So there is not really any maintenance other than you know parts that do wear out. So in my case, my tires, I did have to replace all four of my tires at around 15,000 miles because the tread depths were reading too low. And I contacted Tesla. They said they quoted me around $1,600 to replace all four tires. And they said there was no warranty they can give even though I mean, tires, that was too soon for a tire to wire out. So what I did was I contacted Michelin and I said, you know, do you have any kind of a warranty program that is too quick for a car to, to have that low of a tire tread depth? And they said that, yeah, it is electric cars. We like to go fast. There's a lot of friction. So it does happen the tire do wire out quickly, but that is very quick. So they said, why don't you take it to a Tesla or a discount tire somewhere authorized and then they will let us know if it is the, that is the true TED depth. So I took it to discount tire and they evaluated my car, they, they evaluated my tires and they called Michelin on my behalf and Michelin pretty much discounted um, the, the whole thing other than uh, I had to pay around $410 which is about 100 bucks a tire. I ended up getting a Bridgestone tire which are premium tires. They say that the noise was going to be louder but I didn't feel it at all and I only paid $410 and these tires have been doing really well for the last 5,000 miles. I get my tires rotated at discount tire as well for free of charge so there is no, no maintenance for that and other than that I have replaced my windshield fluid which is you know two dollars <laughs> so that that is negligible cost uh, nothing on the brake nothing uh, nothing else for maintenance we did started having to pay for the premium connectivity starting january of 2020 that cost us you know 1039 a month so that is around 62 dollars so far that we have paid on premium connectivity speaking of which i'm going to be making another video on premium connectivity on all the features if it is worth it or not and what i think about it for having premium connectivity for the past 18 months uh, so the that brings our total maintenance cost to just 472 dollars including four brand new tires and the premium connectivity that we are paying so that is great for me the maintenance wise in our total cost, we also wanted to include the amount we have paid for our accessories and upgrades we have done for our Tesla and for our paint protection. So for our accessories, we have spent $400, which does include the front and trunk automatic openers, as well as our lighting upgrades, like our puddle lights here and um, center console wraps and other accessories to upgrade our Tesla and also um, since Tesla does have soft paint we wanted to invest in ceramic coating because when we got our Tesla delivered we noticed that there were some swirl marks and some paint issues and that's a whole nother thing that we didn't like about the delivery in Tesla and 
that's something Tesla can improve and we're actually going to do a whole separate video on other things such as that that we don't like about Tesla that Tesla can improve. So be sure to subscribe so that you can be alerted when we have that next video uploaded in our channel. Be sure to also check out our video that we have in the YouTube channel uploaded about all of the accessories we have um, upgraded our Tesla with after 20,000 miles. Um, be sure to check it out. The link is up here and also you can check out the link in the description below and we go in depth in all of the accessories. They're super cool. They really make your premium car be a premium car. So check it out. And so total for our accessories, $400 and $800 ceramic coating, our upgrades, everything, it comes to a total of $1,200. And this brings our total cost so far that we have mentioned, our initial cost, our registration, insurance, and loan costs, charging, maintenance, our accessories and paint coating, paint protection, um, before taking into account all of our credits, this comes to a total of $67,866. So now that I gave you that full uh, cost up to now before credits, let's take a look at the credits we did receive. So we bought, we got our Tesla delivered to us literally the last week of December 2018. So that was the last week that they had the federal full amount of $7,500 in credits. So we, we got really lucky. We got it delivered in that last week. And we also live in beautiful and wonderful state of Colorado, which is very EV friendly. So we got $5,000 just in our state tax credit. And if you are interested in buying a Tesla right now and you live in Colorado, make sure to take advantage. They're still giving away $4,000 in tax credit. So that brings our total credit we receive for our Tesla to $12,500. And so now if you take into account all the costs that were mentioned after credits that so having driven 20,000 miles and driven for the past 18 months, this brings our total cost to $55,366. And that doesn't take into account all of the gas savings we have had driving an EV car. So our Nissan Altima that we used to drive used to give us about 30 miles per gallon and let's say we had driven 20,000 miles and um, if let's say an average of $2.50 uh, per gallon that comes to six, about $1,600 um, in savings just in gas that we haven't had to pay for our Altima that we were able to drive. And also um, the oil changes no other regular car expenses so now let's talk about depreciation and trading code we recently got a code from tesla but to clearly understand that let's go back to the initial purchase price and factor out all the taxes and everything let's just take the purchase price and then the credit that we receive and then let's see how we are in terms of depreciation let's take the initial purchase price of 56,835 not including taxes and fees but including fsd and we got $12,500 in tax credit. So if we subtract that, our total comes to $44,335, which is purchase price minus the tax credit. We recently got a trading code from Tesla for $39,800. And Kelly Blue Book shows right around $40,000 for our car's total value. If we take that trading code of $39,800, and subtract from our purchase price, total depreciation is just around $4,535 or 10% of the purchase price, which is really great compared to other cars that have depreciated 20% for me in the first year and then another 10% every other years after that. So I really like that, that the, that the car hasn't depreciated much. So that was our true cost of ownership of our 2018 Tesla Model 3 after driving for 18 months, 20,000 miles later. We gave you all the cost, including your finance charges, our insurance, our accessories, initial price, credits, everything. So that was our total long-term cost of ownership. One of the things that 
we find is that people are hesitant to adopt an EV because they cost too much and that is correct even cars like Nissan Leaf are comparably more um, costlier than other cars like Nissan Altima so that that is true that EVs are uh, expensive but they are going down the prices are going down and you know we just hope that they become more comparable in the going forward um, not just comparable but the same price if not lower that's what we hope for uh, but you know they do EVs do have benefit over the long term so such as not maintaining it not having to go to a gas station not doing an oil change it has been really nice not having to do all of that for the past 18 months so there you have it we hope you enjoyed our video and we hope you found it helpful we wanted to share with you what our true cost of owning our Tesla on a long term after these 18 months has been and um, we please subscribe to the channel uh, we're gonna upload more videos in the future and turn on your notifications so you can be alerted when we have more videos and give it a big thumbs up and now we want to hear your thoughts we want to hear from you all if you own a Tesla where the number is comparable to what you have cost what it has cost you to own a Tesla and if you don't own a Tesla and you're in the market is cost something that is holding you back from purchasing a Tesla or is was the cost after seeing it in our video is it something you thought it was going to be less of a cost or did you think it was going to be more we loved hearing from you guys we love hearing your thoughts please feel free to comment we want to see your comments tell us what videos you want to see next tell us what you liked about this video tell us if you love Tesla's just like we do we love interacting with you all we love to hear from you and we'll see you in the next video Thank you very much. Thank you for watching.